hello everyone it's monica here and welcome to my channel today i'm coming to you with this uh, ferrero rocher box it's a nice decorative box which you can use to put uh, this uh, ferrero rocher it's a 24 pieces uh, chocolate box uh, it's i think 300 uh, grams and that's how i decorate it uh, so i'm going to show you step by step how to create the base and i'm going to show you and uh, tell you all the measurements for those mats i used to decorate my box and first i'm going to show you how to do the box from a free card and then after that i'm going to show you how to do it from 12 by 12 uh, uh, sheets of paper because um you it's very hard and i don't think it's possible to do it from a4 card so i'm going to show you a3 first and then 12 by 12 so if you've got depending on which paper you have you can create your own i'm not going to show you step by step how i decorate this because i've done it off camera and just wanted to show you how it looks and this time i use the ribbon to <coughs> close this box but i i've done a few boxes which uh, are uh, done differently uh, i did like a, a bit more special uh, with the corset uh, fastening i'm going to include a photo over here somewhere which i've done uh, years ago and i think i've got um project share on my channel i think over three years ago i shared that one with the corset uh, fastening i saw and I will, include, I will include that video at the end so you can check it out if you want to. So let me show you the box. As you can see, it has um, some decoration at the front. No sentiment because I wanted to keep it uh, uh, quite simple because I still don't know who's going to receive that. And my husband, he was actually looking at those um, chocolates and he said, OK, do that tutorial because I want to have them. <laughs> So I had to, I had to do it. Uh, so I used the Visteria collection by Crafters Companion. These beautiful papers, and as you can see, every single side is decorated. And uh, I've got this matching ribbon over here. I use this window, <coughs> which you, as you can see, you can open it. And I used a um, craft card from Crafters Companion. That A3 card I am uh, going to show you. Uh, I'm. Uh, it's from Crafters Companion as well. <coughs> And those leaves are from this die set delightful daisies and that's those leaves i love this die set i think it's really nice and i use it often <coughs> apologies my throat is a bit mm, weird today and what else uh, i use my favorite uh, martha stewart aboard the punch and that's it, some flowers, very simple and matching ribbon, as I said. So inside what I do, I usually put uh, some uh, wishes on the side here on the left. Uh, every single side is decorated and even inside this pocket, you can, if you run out of paper, you can leave it um, blank. You don't have to decorate it, but I'm going to give you every single measurements for everything. And as you can see, it goes into that pocket. To, uh, it's very secure. It's very snug, actually. So if you want to do this tutorial, have the chocolate. That's the chocolate Ferrero Rocher. And it's the one with 24 pieces, 300 uh, grams. Uh, so use this one for this tutorial and get it before you start it. Because as you can see, let me show you the spine. It's slightly curved uh, because it's really snug and it's really perfect fit if you follow the measurements. So first I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, do it from A3 card. And then if you interested, stay and watch the one uh, if you have 12 by 12 uh, card. So let me put it to the side and let me bring that so this is the full length of a3 card and i already scored it and um it's it's so it over here as you can see it has 16 inches and five eighths so that's the full length of a3 card and then i cut that to eight and a half inches just checking if you see everything and uh, let me bring my scoreboard so i can show you the <coughs> measurements and how to score it so first we need two score lines that's for the base this is for the uh for the outside for that part and then i'm going to show you another piece for 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 the pocket so let me 
let's see. So the first corner, uh, score line is at six and a three eighths. Let me write it down. At six and three eighths. And then the next one is at eight and one of the eighths inch. I will write everything down just in case if uh, you can't understand my pronunciation. So score at six and three eighths of the inch and then eight and one eighths of an inch. And this is eight and a half inches by 16 and five eighths, this one. And as you can see, you've got this part, which measures six and three eighths. Then the spine measures one and three quarter of an inch. And the base, the, um, the size of the box will be eight and a half by eight and a half. And this is very important because this measurement will help you to understand uh, when we're going to put together the box uh, using 12 by 12 card. So this is the first, let me put it to the side. And then this is the pocket. So the pocket measures 13 inches by six inches. And then we're going to score it at half an inch. That's our tab all around for gluing that pocket onto our base. So half an inch, then two and one quarter of an inch, then 10, 10 and three quarters. And then, then uh, you need to turn it over because of course we our scoreboard, mine is at least maximum 12 inches. We need another um half an inch on the other side so let me write it down for you again score at half an inch then two and one quarter then ten and three quarters and then it's going to be let me just um, measure it for you uh, 12 so so that's the, oh I'm sorry just need to focus so that's 11 12 and a half yeah 12 and a half inch 12 and a half inch or as I showed you turn it over and I do the half an inch on that side and then we need to score it that way. So the score lines are three and three quarter, then five and a half, five and a half. And then we've got that a uh, half an inch uh, tab for gluing. So I hope it's uh, clear and I hope you can see it. So we've got first tab is that half an inch for gluing. This space between first and second measures because that's the spine which is like, like over here. One and three quarter. So we need that spine to fit our box. And then this one measures eight and a half inches because that's the uh, size of our full box. And then we've got another, that's the spine, one and a, and a three quarter of an inch and then a half an inch for, for gluing, the tab for gluing. This, until the first corner, score line, we've got three and a three quarter of an inch. Then we've got the spine for, for the chocolate, which is one and a three quarter and we've got another uh, half an inch tab for gluing so uh, let me see if i put the measurements for for the full what's the size of our piece of paper so the piece of paper measures 13 inches by six inch that's our full uh, piece of paper 
so if you want you can uh, actually uh, screenshot that one and let me show you where to cut I'm going to grab my big scissors so we need to cut you can see already which parts we need to cut off so I'm going to cut to the second score line I'm going to cut off that sliver I'm going to do that and we're going to cut off that so you need that in both on both sides so let me do the other one i'm going to be repeating all the measurements just to make sure that you you can write it down and you uh, know which ones are those and hopefully it's going to be easy tutorial for you I really like the quarantine, those ferocious, those big ones. So now we need to put it together. Of course, you have to burnish all the score lines. You need to glue it like so to create a pocket. It's. I hope it's very simple for you to understand. And there is a lot of um, pencil marks, but we're going to decorate it so it doesn't matter. Uh, so now I need to, so this side, which measures six and a, uh, three eighths by eight and a half. That's our front, the one I decorated, the one which uh, we're going to use to attach the ribbon. And we need the pocket to go on the right over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue the pocket first. And then, as I said, it's good to have the chocolate box um, uh, handy because it's going to help us to adhere that. Um, I think I need to cut a little bit more. It's nice to create, um, cut off a little bit more, then it's uh, easier for, for us to glue everything together. So let me do it quickly. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue here. And then we're going to add here together those two pieces to create our, uh, our base. So as you can see, if you use a free card then you need only two pieces to create that base if you for example if you've got 12 by 12 cards you will see that i've got total let me see uh four pieces i have to cut off this a little bit just see and check which bits you need to cut off and I think that's if you need to cut off a bit more then you can do it just double check everything and this one will be adhered to this side to that eight and a half inch square now I need that chocolate box because what I do I just slide it in and this way I, I can see uh, how to adhere it properly and I know that it's not going to be actually sliding in and out so I prefer to do that this way I do trust my measurements but still it's I like when the chocolate is really, really snug in my box so now I'm putting it on top of that uh, eight and a half square and it takes a little bit too and because of the chocolate it gives me more stability to to uh, put everything nicely i hope i'm not going to put my head in the shot but i am trying to do it nicely and straight so as you can see it sits really nicely and it's really nice and snug so now you can just keep pressing, you can keep turning that box 
Yes, and that's done. So now we need to create a center uh, a center point for so it's going to be four and one quarter because we need to attach the ribbon. My ribbon is about 13 inches long, but um, if you want, you can you can uh, make it shorter. It all depends on what kind of bow you want to add. Uh, if you've got a thinner ribbon, it's maybe it doesn't have to be that long, but it's better to have it slightly longer. Uh, rather than shorter because then you can cut the axis off but if you add shorter ribbon it can create a problem for you so as you can see i'm adding that red liner tape just need to make sure that it's burnished and because my chocolate is inside it's uh, easier to uh, because without the chocolate i would be pressing and i would um i might destroy my box which i don't want to do because uh, yeah, I put so much work into this, so I'm removing those, and I've got my ribbon ready. I'm going to use that light pink, and then uh, on the other side as well. So, and then I'm going to show you all the measurements for decorating our box but if you paid attention you can already know that uh, those measurements because they're going to be a quarter enough of an inch as more than every single side so you know the spine how big is the spine so we need those papers now which i have it here and I picked the papers from another Crafters Companion collection. This one is called A Country Lane. It's this paper part. And uh, I like that one. So let me show you the measurements. So we need a uh, eight and one quarter by six and one eighth. Uh, we've got, we need two of those. I think I'm going to put all the measurements here. I think that will be easier for you. We need a... Uh, so let me show this one. So this one is, we need two of those to decorate the front. So this one is a uh, eight and one quarter by six and one eighth. So that's the one. And we, we need another one uh, for the inside. So let me see which one I prefer more. I think I will put this one first. So I'm going to put this one first. So uh, if you're going to do, the base from 12 by 12 paper those measurements for those uh, mats are going to be exactly the same so you need those measurements to decorate the, that other box which we're going to create in a minute from 12 by 12 paper so uh, you write down all those measurements and for the inside like in the previous one i'm going to keep it actually uh, the other side uh, from that uh, design paper because then I'm going to maybe not because then I'm going to uh, add those wishes and I you know I will keep the same <laughs> pattern so I'm going to keep the plain side visible so this one is again uh, eight and one quarter of an inch by six and one eighth. Two pieces which measures the same. And always remember to adhere your ribbon first. Then we're going to decorate uh, the spine. So I need three pieces the same size. I think I'm going to keep this one for, uh, for the outside my box or maybe this one okay so this one measures so we need three pieces uh, like this measuring eight and one quarter by one and a half inch because our spine is one and three quarters so we need to decrease by one and a quarter of an inch so we need three of those and I'm keeping that plain side visible 
and let me do that first so we need one for the inside let me put that one in because then you will see that it's easier to apply those then i'm going to turn it like so and i'm going to put this one so that's the second strip which measures eight and one quarter by one and a half inch so we already used two of those and with the box in it's really so simple to to apply this one and you can see that those uh, borders are so nice and pretty and then the third one the last one we need on this side and this one I'm going to keep plain so that's the third one I know this video will be a bit long, but uh, if you want to skip to that part uh, for 12 by 12 paper, you can do it. But still, you need to have those measurements to decorate. And now I'm going to decorate my pocket. So this one measures eight and one quarter by, let me see, three and a half inch, because this one measures three and three quarters. So eight and one quarter by three and a half and i'm keeping it plain again and then we've got another four pieces to add here because we need to as you can uh, as i said before you can keep it plain if you for example you know that you're running low on paper then you can for example this one is from a different um design but the back is very similar so i decided to use it for the inside so uh, hearing that one inside of my pocket so this one measures eight and one quarter by eight and one quarter and you just slide it in and this way everything will be so nice and pretty mm. so this one is done and just three more pieces and it will be done so let me find those pieces so again i'm going to slide this um, chocolate inside and I'm going to tie a bow just to because we've done the inside already so we can do that and it's going to hold everything nicely for me to decorate the back and those sides so we've got another um, let me double check so that's another piece which measures a uh, eight and one quarter by eight and one quarter square so that's our back. So I'm really curious if you're going to like this video and if you've done maybe something very similar and who's going to actually try to make it. If you're going to try to make this, I would love to see it. And if you're on any social media, just tag me along. Uh, you can find all my social media below in a description box so you can check it out and we've got another two pieces it is um uh, three and a half inch by one and a half so we need two of those so three and a half by one and a half and this one will be done and i like it as well I love those pattern papers and I think they work with that light pink ribbon. And once I adhere this one, we can work on the other one. The other one will be from, as I said, 12 by 12 paper. So this is the one from uh, A3 cardstock. So let me put this one aside and let me bring all the papers I have for... Uh, uh, 12 by 12 uh, card 
so first of all let me bring my score board so i can uh, show you all the measurements and all the score lines so it's 12 by 12 so i cut um it's uh 12 inches uh, this way and six no eight and a half <laughs> because it has to be eight and a half because that's uh, the measurements of our box so that's the piece eight and a, eight and a half by uh, 12 inches uh, 12 by eight and a half and then we need to score it so that's our front the one which we're going to use to decorate and then we're going to add the pocket so the first score line is at uh, six and three eighths. Let me write it down. At six and three eighths, then eight and one eighth of an inch. So you can write this down. So six and three eighths and then eight and one eighths. And again, we've got exactly the same spine. And here is a six and a three quarters of an inch, the same as in our previous boxes. So I'm putting this one aside. And then this side is again 12 inches by eight and a half. And this one will go like so. We're going to join those two together. So we need to score it at, let me write it down. Now I'm rushing a little bit because I know uh, that it's a very long video and eight. Okay. So this uh, paper measures 12, as I said, by eight and a half. And the first score line is at six and a half inch. Then eight and one quarter so again we've got the spine for the pocket that's going to be our pocket which measures exactly the same as uh, in the previous boxes so three and three quarter of an inch by eight and a half so that's our pocket and we're going to adhere it in a way that we're going to have eight and a half by eight and a half and it's going to be like so and now we need those tabs to close our our pocket so this measures a four and one quarter of an inch we need actually two pieces so let me bring both of them so four and one quarter by two and three quarters and as it says over here you need to score at a uh, half an inch on all three sides so it doesn't matter which side you just go at half an inch half an inch half an inch because we need the tab uh, for gluing and uh, we need uh, that part to be measuring uh, one and three quarter of an inch by three and a half so double checking so this one is no not three and a half three and three quarters i was just thinking what's fun and this one is uh, again one and uh, three quarters of an inch so now we need to cut and we need to Put this one together so again I'm cutting those slivers off just for myself to and because it's a palace and cardstock yeah, this one is from paper pad by crafters companion as well so I wasn't sure which cardstock you have and I was thinking I should actually do both of them let me just burnish that because I haven't uh, I hope it's not going to I hope I will be able to upload this video because it's very long I would be really disappointed if I couldn't because I was thinking shall I split this video into the separate ones but um, I, I just for some reason I just didn't want to do it I don't know I wasn't sure what to do to be honest <laughs> so and uh, now we need to create those tabs and you could do something like so without those but then I was thinking maybe some people will not like that there is a gap here 
so I decided to do that but both ways are good and I did this way as well so it's all up to you uh, so let me adhere that uh, I know that it will take a little while because um, this card uh, it's quite heavy and it's a pearlescent and card so let me actually use my pegs to hold it so I'm a bit worried that it will oh I did something wrong no it's not going to be visible it doesn't matter anyway <laughs> because it will go this into that side just to close that uh, pocket so let me use another peg but I think this glue is quite strong so it should be fine so I'm applying glue on those little tabs and another peg I think those wooden pegs are so handy I just love them I always have them on my uh, light over here and I think it's just so easy to grab and use them whenever I need to so I hope this one is uh, adhered properly so actually let me put this one first so I need my ruler because we need to make sure that it's eight and a half that it's eight and a half inch so what i'm going to do i think i'm going to mark I know this uh, those two pieces are not exactly eight and a half so we have to make sure that it's actually at the eight and a half inch use with your mat and then uh, try to measure it and actually what I'm going to do for you I'm going to tell you in okay so you need to start I uh, put a mark at uh, two inches at the top and two inches at the bottom and once you adhere that one two inches and what i'm going to do so this is the one uh, which has the uh, decorative the front panel um, and this one is the one with the pocket that's how I'm going to call it and then I marked from this score line let me double check from this score line I marked myself two inches I'm going to join those two marks only here in the center because anyway we're going to decorate it so then when I going to add here both sides let me let me use a bit of a uh, sticky tape and then i'm going to double check the measurements we need eight and a half inches and it's perfect you see it's eight and a half inches so again from the score line from the second score line mark yourself two inch at the top and two inch at the bottom uh, make a line just to make sure that you are going to align this piece nicely and straight and then you can adhere it together so now i can easily apply the glue to this part only and because we're going to decorate front and back uh, it's not going to be that visible so but if you still want to cover uh, that join you can cut yourself eight and a half inch square and you can decorate the back and then adhere the mat but to me i think it's fine and you can see that's the front which we're going to decorate that's the pocket and now we can adhere those two to secure our chocolate and again i'm going to remove uh, that chocolate box because I think it might help me. Let's see if I need it or not. And a writing will be uh, covered by, by my mat. So I'm adhering that one here. 
and then i'm going to add the glue to every single tab let me double check if you can see it in the camera and i'm going to add here that and the top if you need you just um, pull it a little bit because the measurements are right but because of the chocolate um, let me see and you can use your bone folder let me put the chocolate back and you can press it from the inside like so just to make sure that it's done and then you can use it to press here as well press and hold just to make sure that everything is adhered if you want you can use double-sided tape it's all up to you uh, but I'm fine with this glue. I think this glue is really nice. So uh, I'm okay with that And I love this gold uh, card from crafters companion. I think it's really nice So let me do the other side. I might actually bring uh, that chocolate now to Yeah, you see it's all nice And This one will go on that side yeah fine i hope you will like it i really love to share that uh, with you and i hope you will like it as well and all uh, the measurements for the mask are exactly the same as i showed you previously i will try to write them down as well so you can actually uh, keep it and use it in your uh, own boxes so you see that 12 by 12 paper uh, it's useful as well and you can use that to create those on that box but as you can see it has more pieces so uh, quite a, more measurements and it, as you can see it's a bit fiddly i hope you can see this a bit because i had to bring it to, towards myself and i think for the purpose of this video i chose the wrong card because pilots and card stuff it's, uh, it's not that easy to glue it together but with the help of the bone folder i think i can press it and yeah and i like it you see let me put the chocolate in so this one is for the 12 um this box is made from 12 by 12 paper and have a look it all works of course i need to press a bit more and again, the measurements for the mats are exactly the same as the one I showed you previously. You can see that at the back, uh, we had to join both of them together. So this one is from 12 by 12. And this one is from um, a, a free card. And so I've got three now. And this one is the one I showed you, the one which I decorated. So let me know what do you think about this tutorial. I hope you like it. I hope everything, uh, you understood everything. If you've got any questions whatsoever, because I tried my best to uh, mm, share all the measurements. If there are any questions, just let me know in the description box below. I will try to create um, a PDF, maybe if I will have more time for those people who are struggling, maybe. But I think... Um, it's it's oh, it's fine i think i gave you all the measurements so let me know uh, what do you think about this tutorial do you like it have you made anything uh, like this before uh yes so i'm looking forward to your comments if you are new to my channel consider subscribing uh give me some likes uh, subscriptions and uh write me some comments because i love reading your comments so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye for now